car again running here. Officer, you're driving an unmarked vehicle. Are you a police officer? What's that? Um, are you a are you a police officer, sir? Got a looks like a Dodge Charger here, all black, no markings. With hidden lights on it. Let's check the number on it too. To keep our distance from the officer here. A H L L O eight one six. Very ambiguous. The problem is, you know, they drive these cars. You don't know if your daughter, your sons, your wives are getting pulled over by a police officer or by somebody else. Can I see some ID, sir? You know who I am. No, I don't know who you are. I've never met you. Can I see some identification? What's that? Appreciate it. Are you aware that you guys aren't supposed to be using unmarked vehicles? You're Sage oh, Schaefer? shaking pretty bad there, sir. You're, sh you're shaking a little too. Are you all right? <laughs> I've had too much coffee probably. <laughs> well, I know the all feeling. Right. I like coffee too. I get it. I'm so, out here. Watch out. So are you all done here? Can I just ask that you guys get some markings on this car according to RCW 46.08.065? You aware of the law? You said no, you're not going to follow the law? Oh, I do follow the law. Thank you. What? So All right, I gotta go. Watch okay, you need you need to start getting this car marked. If I see yeah. you out here in this car again, we're gonna have All another right. conversation. Hey, you understand, good. sir? Good talk Do you understand? I will probably see you again then. I'm sure. All right, here, let's get in compliance with the law there. Folks, the total and complete disrespect from our public officials must be challenged. It must be challenged with principle. It must be challenged with courage. We cannot be silent. We cannot let the cowardice of people who say, just let the government do their business. Just let them do their job. Their job is to serve us. Now, for obvious safety and ethical reasons, the law in Washington state and in many other states says that police vehicles must be marked. In Washington state, the exemption is only for special undercover or investigative purposes, meaning not for pulling people over for speeding and burnout taillights. And the law is abundantly clear on this. Now, many agencies all over the place are ignoring this law so they can keep their taxation and revenue going strong. We see this in local police, we see it in sheriffs, we especially see it in Washington State with the lawless Washington State Patrol who flagrantly violate the law claiming that it doesn't apply to them when in fact it specifically implies, applies to them. The subsection of the law that specifically applies to the Washington State Patrol does have some slightly different rules than for local police departments, but it's very clear nonetheless. They say because there's an exemption or a possibility of an exemption made for traffic control vehicles that they don't have to mark their cars, except for that defies the whole context of the law, including the part that's directed at them. A traffic control vehicle is not a traffic enforcement vehicle. It's not pulling people over for speeding and burnout taillights and expired tabs. A traffic control vehicle is the vehicles you see leading you through construction zones or picking up cones on the side of the road or things like that. Not a traffic enforcement cruiser. So the point is, the law is being violated. It's endangering our families on the road, and it has to stop. It's not just about this, though. It's about lawlessness all over America. It's about liberty. It's about we the people must stop tolerating criminals and lawlessness from our government, whatever part of government that be from. Don't be the slave who drives by on the road and hollers out the window that says, leave the police alone. This isn't about harassing police. It's not about hating government or authority or law enforcement. It's about law. It's about justice. It's about holding them accountable. That's our job. That's our duty. Stand up. Don't be a coward. Don't be a slave. Hold your government accountable and stand on principle. And if you see an unmarked car, pick up the phone and dial 911 and demand they get a marked police vehicle out there to check on it. 
And if you feel comfortable with it, pull out a camera and go call them out yourself, like I just did. But it's not just about this, it's about liberty. It's about accountability. It's about these people violating the law all across America. It's about government from our police to our public officials, to our Congress, to our courts, having no respect for law or justice. But you know whose fault it really is? It's ours. Because it's our job to stand up for what's right. It's our job to stand on principle. It's our job to hold them accountable to liberty and to make sure that we are just and equal and right. And if we will not do that, if we will not stand up on principle, liberty will be lost. Start standing up. Start doing your job, America. Stop tolerating these lawless punks that think they can act with impunity and do whatever they want. Take care.